Hi guys! <laughs> Victoria Radford here. For anyone new to my channel, I'm a makeup artist and a owner of a brand called Radford, based out of Toronto. But I'm currently in sunny Los Angeles. Amy and I are meeting with our manufacturer, who is in LA, based out of LA. I'm going to do my makeup and I got inspired by Mulberry Glow, which is one of my lipsticks, but also this Tom Ford lippy, which is aptly named fucking fabulous. And there is something about a red lip. It's very lucky and it always makes me feel extremely beautiful and strong and kind of commanding of a room. So I think we're going to have to go with the Tom Ford fucking fabulous and I'm going to teach you how I like to do a red lip makeup. So there's a few things that you need to understand uh, about complementing a beautiful, bold red lip. Number one, a red lip looks incredible with almost no makeup on at all. In fact, if I pop this on right now, it would just bring everything alive. And even though I'm only wearing a tinted moisturizer, uh, I would look very put together. If you are going to do some makeup to enhance and complement a red lip, it's really important that you get your tones right. And the tones that I love to use with a red lip are these kind of rose gold reddish tones. This is also one of my blushes. It's called rose gold <laughs> and it looks incredible on the cheeks and the eyes. I will be doing that and then everything else more in the golds. So I'm also going to be pairing it with this gorgeous Tom Ford cream color for eyes and it has a little bit of that golden, burnt, burnt golden undertone. But let's start with the face. I already put some glow primer just to make my skin look nice and glowy for the day. And just a teeny touch of tint. So I have hardly any makeup on, but I like that look. I'm going to add just a little bit more glow primer because I put my makeup on at 8 a.m. and it's now three o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm going to focus it right around my eyes to both add some hydration and just a little bit more glow. Just take it up a notch. And I love putting this product right up under my eyes. It's very, eye opening. I want my skin to look natural, but I just want to pick everything up. So some very soft contouring. I'm going to be using uh, my foundation sticks and I'm going to use three different colors. Most of the time when I do makeup, I put three colors on someone's face. And the purpose of that is to keep your makeup looking really natural because nobody has one color of face. That's the, it's kind of the opposite of cake face. If you look at someone and you're like, Ooh, that person's wearing a ton of makeup. It's their makeup is too flat. I, I everyone has a 3d face. So I do 3d makeup. So the first thing I like to do is more glow and pearl stick is the perfect thing for that. And I'm going to start it right around my eyes. So the same place I put glow initially, and then I'll take my little pinky and right in the corners of the eyes, essentially anywhere on my face that I want to add volume. So I want to really enhance, I have a small forehead. So I like to put a little bit of glow right above my eyebrow, it just kind of picks everything up and creates this illusion of volume. And then of course, right above my lips, because once I put the red lipstick on, that will just highlight it and make it look really framed so beautifully. Then I'm going to use a little bit of vanilla. 
This is ever so slightly lighter than my skin tone. So I'm using it right in the corners like concealer, but once I blend it with caramel, which is slightly deeper than my skin tone, everything will look really natural. I'll put a teeny touch on my forehead just to create more volume, and then right along my jaw line on both sides. That's slightly, there we go. And then caramel, which is the most perfect, very subtle contouring. I used to call it light contour before we changed the name. I'll do two stripes, nice and high, because I really want that those like high cheekbones, that cheekbone effect. And then very importantly, right along the jawline. See? On the other side too. And then I do have like just a little bit of a double chin. So I don't want that. Goodbye. Now I have two options. I can either use my hands and just mush it all in, or I can use a brush. And today I'm going to use a brush. This is a clean brush. It's just that I used it this morning and so it doesn't look as clean. So just going on the lighter colors first. Blending in vanilla with pearl. And then I'll go on the lighter color on my jawline. And then I'll just bring it down. Obviously you don't wanna look like you have stripes on your face in the end. So just blending them all together. And I like to kind of make a party on the outside of my jawline, right in my forehead as well, on my nose. I hardly ever put any makeup on my nose. It's a really great trick, and now I'll use my hands, to make it look like you're not wearing foundation if your nose is free and clear of foundation. I love pressing my hands into my skin after I put foundation on. It just does such a nice job of blending in anything that wasn't quite blended. It also rubs off a little of the makeup, so it makes it more lived in, more natural. So you can see. Beautiful. I like to put just a little bit of face powder on to set my makeup before I put bronzer. I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury. Clearly really enjoy this powder. Um, my number is two in medium and it's the airbrush flawless finish and i like to use the exact same brush i just used for my makeup and i concentrate it in the areas where i do want a little more coverage which for me is always my chin always my chin always my jawline so that's where i'm focusing it and then right here i get a little bit shiny so i'll do a little powder there and then whatever is left on my brush. But I, I never powder under my eyes. So instead I like to use the pearl stick to create a lot of hydration and just reflect any darkness or imperfections that I would like to not have come out underneath my eyes. Are you excited for this? I am, I love using this product. And I prefer to use my pinky and just use right on the lower part of my lid, keeping my eye open and just looking down so I can really get it along the lash line because once I put my mascara on, that's what you're really going to see. Now, this product is extremely sparkly, so I don't really want to get it everywhere. I just want a suggestion of it, just a hint. Sometimes I do like it a little bit underneath, and so we'll do that today. Let's do just a little bit on the Cupid's bowl right here. Now, let's set that with a little bit of Universal Glow, which is essentially a glow powder that's almost in the same color. It has a lot of gold in it, and I'm just using the same brush I used on my face, mostly because I'm too lazy to get up and get another brush. So I've obviously got a primer, a glow stick, an eye product, and now a powder. 
all in different glow, shimmery, but very subtle. So the finished effect is so pretty and it will last a lot longer because of those little layers. Whenever I do kind of subtle reds, so red cheeks, red, we'll do some rose gold on the cheeks right now so you can really see what I mean. And just right on the apple, so smile right on that apple and then pop, 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 all the way up. The finished effect I really want is to look almost like I'm hot. So putting it right in my mini eye lift area to make my eyes look lifted and more awake. And then of course I love a little bit of blush along the jawline. And what I love to pair with that is Pyrite, which is one of my eyeliners. And it's kind of like a burnt gold, but it reads a little bit like green, you'll be able to see. So I'm gonna start it right in my lashes, pop up. Then I'm going to look down ever so slightly. And I want to get a cute little cat eye, but very subtle. I'm just going to use one of my Radford brow tints. This is in brunette lights. Uh, this is the point of brow tint is just to give a little bit more presence to the eyebrows and then keep them in place. But I like my eyebrows to look kind of like natural and fluffy. You can see the difference. Let's put a little bit of universal bronze. I like to use a big flat brush for bronzer so I can just stamp it right over top of where, everywhere I put caramel. Just further tucks everything in. I love it in the mini eye lift as well. I also love using a little bit of bronzer right underneath my eyes. It gives a very subtle shadow. It just makes your eyes look a little bit bigger. You can see the difference. Mascara. And now for the moment we've all been waiting for. This is only the second time I've used this lipstick, which is why it looks brand new still. And with red lipstick, I like to use the tip of it almost to outline my lips and make it a little bit easier. Like that. And I press them because I like to do layers of my lipstick as well so it stays longer and it doesn't, it looks smoother this way I find. Then I do a big cheesy smile. And then if you do feel like you want the edges to be just cleaned up a little bit, you can use a little bit of a concealer brush or even your finger. And it just diffuses the edges so it looks more effortless, which is really the way that I like to do a red lip. We are ready and probably have to leave right this second. I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you soon. Mwah!